Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be kicking the video off by talking about a way to customize your Android using the app Parallel Space. So for those of you that don't know, Parallel Space is an app that allows you to use multiple of one app at the same time. It does this by cloning apps. This allows the user to be able to log in to more than one social media account at one time and more than one online gaming profile. So this is useful for games that allow you to only sign into one online profile and apps such as Snapchat that don't have options for multiple users. The app also gives you the option to hide secret apps from people that are using your phone. They've also recently introduced a theme store so you can now set different themes on the apps that you are cloning so it's easier to distinguish which one is which. Overall, I would say this is definitely worth checking out. You can check it out in the link in the description down below. Thank you. Hey everybody, I'm back with another episode of how to customize your Android and so let's get right into it. The very first setup I'm going to be showing you guys is courtesy of Jesus Sanchez who posted it on our Google Space. So for this setup, you're only going to need flat UI, which is a Zuper widget, and Simpax icons, which is 99 cents on the Play Store. You could use any icons of your choosing if you do not want to use these icons, but that's what I went with. The wallpaper used in this setup is from unsplash.com, and I will have a link to that in the description down below. So the first thing you want to do is turn off the notification bar for your home screen in whatever launcher you're using. This should be somewhere in the settings. Once you do that, you want to go ahead and make the Zuper widget and then you want to adjust it to be the width of your home screen. When you have that, you go in and set it up, you click flat UI, and then you want to scroll down to where it says flat aerial 44 and select that widget. From there, you have to be a little creative. You have to move all the elements up to the top to make sure that it actually looks like you're replacing the status bar. You can also change the color of the little circle which the G is in. And then I personally changed the avatar icon for a different icon that I was able to find in one of my other icon packs. After you do this, you can pretty much apply the icon pack and the wallpaper and this setup is complete. Now obviously this setup has a lot of room for customization. I personally set the little blue button to launch the Google app when it's being pressed. You can do this by going into the Zuper settings and adjusting the tap on widget for each module. Now let's go on to the second setup which was posted by Philip Zelenka on our Google Spaces as well. Now for this setup, I used backdrops for the wallpaper, minimal UI for the Zuper widget, and icons for the icons at the bottom. So really the only thing that needs to be set up here is the widget. Once you do that, you can kind of just customize your icons however you like. So you want to create a Zuper widget and then select minimal UI and scroll down to the widget titled minimal 14. From there, you go into the layout, select the X, and rotate that all the way to be facing down. After you do that, you can adjust the X offset value to make sure that it isn't right next to the Google. And then I went in and changed the other lines down and made them go under the Google text instead of to the side of it. Once you do this, you can optionally go in and select the tap actions for the Google text and the little contact icon to make them open the apps when being clicked on. But after that, you're pretty much done with this setup. It looks very clean and very minimalistic as well as the first setup. Both of these setups are very nice and easy to replicate, so hopefully no one's having too much trouble with them. That was all for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We will be trying to upload a lot more content now that we are done with school. If you want to submit a home screen, the instructions for that will be in the description below. See you guys in the next one.